I've been at uh, Kimball Elementary School now for three years, and we serve a population of low-income families. Uh, it's known as a Title I or a Renaissance school, so uh, I have about 97% of my students on a free or reduced lunch population. I teach at Kimball Elementary. I'm a third grade teacher. Uh, I started teaching because when I was in third grade, I loved my teachers, and I literally, from that moment on, just decided this is what I want to do. As an educator, there are so many different ways uh, of helping students. And the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, people look at grades and how they do academically, but it's more than that. Schools provide a lot more than just the academic grade at the end of the day. And sometimes we forget that. Honestly, my first year of teaching was very difficult. <laughs> um, you know, I didn't get the respect on day one. I had to earn that every single day. And so I really had to get to know the kids, get to know the families, uh, hear their stories and understand what was going on. We have many schools where there is an abundance of resources. And we also know that we have a number of schools uh, where uh, this is not the case. It takes so many different people in a person's life in order to prepare them for the future. Um, so I see the need not only in my particular school, but schools across the, the country, across America. It's one of how we as a whole, and I refer to community partners, whether it's faith-based or not, uh, of finding a way to build on relationships and saying thank you to the educators that are in, in the schools working with students, uh, and then building that relationship with those families. And when relationships increase, you'll see where they are more apt to stay. They'll attend school more often. They'll get to school on time and thus they'll increase their academic achievement. I believe the church should work with schools because in particularly elementary schools, that's the most vulnerable of, of, of our community. Our vision is to be an instrument of hope in our community. I think our partnership with Temple Terrace United Methodist Church is going to really help impact how we can um, build a bridge between home and school. The, the partnership between us and Kimball is unique. And the key to the partnership is we hear each other's story. That is critical. I believe the first step is really connecting with the school principal and then building a relationship from there to support, because every school is different and there's different needs that you'll find in public schools. We don't go in and impose uh, our plans on schools. Uh, it certainly begins with the question, uh, how could we help? Uh, how could we be a positive contributor to your mission? For me, for so many years, the, the churches, or my, our church, we have been reluctant to, to do ministry in places where you don't benefit, especially if you're a small church. Um, this ministry, you don't benefit financially, you, best, you benefit spiritually. A number of churches across our state are, are doing incredibly wonderful things uh, in partnerships with schools. Uh, respectful things uh, at the invitation of those schools, certainly, uh, but simply trying to come alongside uh, the teachers and the administrators and the parents of these schools uh, and be a blessing to these children. The church loves to engage in mission. The, the church loves to, to touch those who are broken and fragile. That's our call, that, that's who we are. So when you give the church an opportunity to serve, they will blow your mind. We've established uh, an advisory committee for this school church connection and the conferences at the very beginning stages. And we've reached out to individuals across our state. Some have experience as teachers or as leaders in schools or a passion for children. Some are from churches that are already doing significant uh, ministry in this area. And we want to learn from them and we, and we want to help this unfold out of this advisory committee. This is not a top-down, annual conference program, but it is really a grassroots initiative where we simply try to connect uh, a school and a church, a volunteer and a local church and a child uh, in a way that will, bottom line, help that child uh, to have a greater possibility of flourishing in life.